Dolls Frontline Episode 9. Nalaman na nila na, well, basically si Destroyer nga. Upon suggestion ni AR-15, nag-fall back sila. So, they went back to base and nag-report si M4A1 kay, kay Kenshan. Now, while they were doing this, biglang kumentra yung, yung pinaka yung pinaka field marshal nila, isa pang babae. With, uh, with a few soldiers, okay? Then, bigla niyang pinasahan si AR-15 ng, well, AR-15 is being arrested for suspicion uh, for suspicion of connivance with the Sangdis. They they took AR-15 in for questioning. Eh, well, nagulantang ang lahat. Eh, especially, especially AR team. Lalo na na si M4A1. Eh, sabi na lang ni M16. Don't sweat it, okay? She's still under suspicion. No, M16 has a point. So while well, while AR-15 is being being investigated, nakalan uli ng mission orders ang ang uh, AR team. That is to of course seek and destroy destroyer. Na close in na nila kung saan tala, kung saan talaga nagtatago si destroyer. AR team and the rest of the dolls na naka-assign sa mission na to, successful sila because uh, well, destroyer was uh, destroyer ran out of patience and basically stormed out to to meet her um, to meet her potential captors. So yan, she she came up with full force. Ngayon, um wow, while the Griffin dolls were Everybody, every Gryffindor was engaging uh, Destroyer and the remainder of her forces. Biglang merong sumout out na assign assignment through their comms na nakatakas si AR-15. And they were given they were given authority to um, to uh, to destroy her once they see her. So medyo nagulantang si M4A1 na naman. Sabi na lang ni um, ni M16 I'm sure AR-15 has her reasons kung bakit niya ginawa yun well she became the voice of reason again so naniwala naman sa naniwala ulit sa kanya si M4A1 then uh, sinuporta naman siya ni sinuporta naman ni G43 si M16 sa sinabi niyang yun M6, sabi niya M16 is right um, seek out destroyer kami nang bahala dito well everyone now has the support of AR team so and for A1 obliged utos niya sa kanya mga teammates alright let's seek her out so the chase is now on final scene well tumatakas nga si ano tumatakas nga si uh, si destroyer she was able to do this with Dreamer's assistance. But while she was escaping, kinakosok niya si Dreamer. And she was actually asking for assistance, for backup. Eh, sinabi na lang ni Dreamer, natupad mo ba ang mission mo? Her actual mission was to assassinate Kryuger. Yung, yung balbasarado na malaking lalaki. Yung pinaka-boss ng, ng Griffin. Siya pala, ang, siya pala ang talagang target ni Destroyer. Hindi niya nagawa. So, ang sabi ni... So, tanong ni Dreamer, Eh, di... Basura ka na ngayon kasi hindi mo nagawa ang iyong mission. So, ang gulo ni Destroyer. So, inilaborate pa ni Dreamer kung ano mangyayari kay Destroyer. Eh, well, Destroyer did nothing but cry. <laughs> talagang... Mangiyak-iyak na si Destroyer sa sinasabing ito ni, ni Dreamer. We're gonna break that episode down now. Quick and soft stop. Mga kalay stop. Pace! Upisa pa na ng episode kasi nag-carry over yung tense pacing from uh, from the last from the last episode. Medyo humupa ito when they went back to base. Then, 
it became tense again nung inaresto si AR-15. Then, medyo humupa ng konting-konti lang and, it be, and the pacing went tense again at, its, uh, at the level it was when AR-15 was arrested. So, it was, a, it was an up and down pacing pero nasa lugar. So, do I have complaints about the pacing of this episode? Nope. I couldn't find fault in the pacing. It was fast when it needed to be. It was slow when it needed to be. No complaints. Flow naman. Well, first gear shift here is probably the most obvious one. When AR-15 was arrested. Uh, no brainer of a gear shift. Kasi, it's a pivotal, it's a pivotal moment in the anime. Kasi, well, if you're like, if you guys are like me na pinaghihinalaan ko for pinaghihinalaan ko si AR-15 na kasangkot ng kalaban, well, um, I'm halfway correct already. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. And it makes you deep dive. Uh, Kasi deep dive ko lang ngayon, mga ka-lifestyle. Second ship was when Destroyer ran out of patience and talagang Hinarap na niya ang mga, ang mga Griffin Dolls. Why did I call this a gearship? Well, it told, this gearship told me that, okay, not every high-end model is intelligent. <laughs> it's actually a 50-50 gearship. Pero, ito yung, ito yung gearship na nagpatalo sa kalaban. Final gearship was when, ayun na, the final scene. Nung, unti-unti nang inilalaglag ni Dreamer si Destroyer. Because of, yeah, mainly because of her impatience, uh, not following orders. Bottom, baka yun ang bottom line ng paglalaglag niya rito eh. It's a no-brainer of a gearship. Even, um, even high-end models can, um, uh, can wrap their own kind out. Whenever the situation seems fit. Ito ang napatunayan ni Dreamer dito. So, these three gear shifts that I saw, um, all of them will play a role in the final three episodes of this anime. Uh, talaga ramdam, ramdam ko sa mga buto ko na magkakaroon ng impact ang tatlong gear shifts na to in the final three episodes. Episode 9 na tayo mga ka-lifestyle, kaya patapos na ang DOS Frontline. Plotwise. Um. I could not call the scenes where the scenes na pinapakita si AR-15 na na ina na pinag na pinag-aaralan that um, that she's being uh what you call this that she's being analyzed. Hindi, hindi pa ni side story, hindi mo matatawag na side story yun eh. Because she's she was she has been arrested. And ito ang procedure sa mga dolls na pinaghihinalaan na medyo uh, questionable as of late yung mga actions nila. Baka na ako control na ng kalaban nito. So it's part of the main continuity. Kaya Malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Shut up na ako when it comes to the plot. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. So, Dolls Frontline Episode 9. Dessert. Two thumbs up. I couldn't remember an episode of Dolls Frontline na binigyan ko ng uh, one thumb up or lower. Have you seen it? Comment below, right? Get up! There are a lot of winter animes right now in the roster na mukhang magtatapos sila with, uh, with a perfect record. Yung two thumbs up all throughout from start to finish. Yun na nakikita ko eh. But, we'll, um, 
But that yet, but that's yet to be seen. Kasi may, may mga tatlo apat pang episodes lahat eh. So we'll only know if they have the perfect record. Kung kung the, the, if the remaining episodes talagang magaganda lahat. So till then, tutukan na lang natin ang anime na to. Minit na nga storyline eh. Okay? Nakaresa si AR-15. So again, Dolph's Frontline Episode 9. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Dolph's Frontline mga ka-lifestyle. Wow. Sabi ko na nga ba, me, there's something off with AR-15. Buti na lang nakaresto siya. Okay? To, to, yeah, to, to prevent the enemy from, uh, from using her. So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, Ano ba magagawa nyo? Edi chill-chill lang muna. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.